We've had some beautiful hills and twisties, guys. Live it! Breathe it! Smell it! I can fucking live here. <laughs> I could. It's what happens when you've been on the road for a few weeks, guys. The women start doubting you just because you've been picking on them for a while. Ooh, what's he doing stopping there? Who? This bloke. Oh, who knows? But um, in saying that, we've had to put up with a lot on these holidays. We won't go into that though, will we, Gimme? Hey guys, we're in our room tonight, aren't we, babe? Just well, come. I hope it's our room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it is, isn't it? Why are you going through my bloody stuff? They're yours. You've just admitted they're yours. Oh, <laughs> don't we had to buy some like three B cream because Mrs. McCracken here needs it on her ass, doesn't she? <laughs> Let's go and lock him out. <laughs> Rusty's in trouble now. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Okay guys, so we are about to leave uh, Port Wakefield and we're going to head up towards the Bar 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 Barossa Valley way, aren't we babe? Yep. And look at this, the sun is shining, look at that. It's going to be a sweet 20 degrees or so today, could be a little bit warmer up around the Barossa way. Better than the clouds. Sure is. What's it, you'll be in the money tree? <laughs> And if you don't know what the money tree is, or the money chair, guys, have a look at our video. <laughs> Old Henry just took us for a tour of Port Wakefield, didn't he, babe? Yeah. Took us 15 minutes to fucking get out of there. Poor little bugger, there's all road work, he doesn't know where he is or what he's doing. No, we had to make our own mind up. Yeah, we had to make our mind up for him, didn't we? Yeah. But, uh, anyway, we're on the way, and we're up towards the Barossa way. We don't know where we're doing, what we're going, where, we don't know anything, eh? Playing on there, of course, and going. We're winging it. We haven't even booked anywhere. Yeah, although we don't often, but we have done a few times on this trip, haven't we? Because yeah. of school holidays and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> uh, so we're heading up into the Barossa still. We're a long way from the Barossa yet, but it is nice riding up through here. We've come to the first town, which we don't know how to pronounce, but we don't care. Balaclava? Yeah. Balaclava, babe? Balaclava, I reckon. Yep. Yeah, Balaclava. Okay. We'll go with that, I guess. We're coming up to the town centre up here, I think. No, town yeah. centre to the left and Auburn that way, yes. I reckon town centre this way. It looks like the main street down on the right. Yeah, it does. McCracken Ford. <laughs> McCracken, <laughs> Mrs. McCracken. That's my company, McCracken Ford. Well, we're going to hook up through the town. Henry's going to carry on a little bit, guys. Just have a little bow peek. Balaclava is an attractive rural service town defined by its impressive wheat silos and grade loading facilities. It is characterised by rows of pine trees and a number of interesting buildings. In summer, when the rainfall drops to nearly zero and the temperature rises, the town is surrounded by dry marginal landscape of the mid-north. It is characterised by a large number of old style sandstone houses and the distinctive curio of an elaborate keep left sign in the centre of town. There are old churches here, mate. Yeah, All going to church. Yep. I don't think that bakery was opened. Wasn't it? No. All gone to church by the looks of it. They are. They'll open up after church. You won't catch Kimmy Ross going to church, let me tell you that right now. Looks like the whole town's going to church. Yep. A very nice area, look at it. Yeah, that's a green. Up in the hills and very nice indeed. We've had some beautiful hills and twisties, guys. You'll probably hear Kim cracking up back there in a minute. Not a yeah. voice, just an intercom. So we'll start falling behind. I'm pleased to see a few corners. Yeah, better than the straights. 
Nice. Look at that, guys. Just take a look. Live it. Breathe it. Smell it. Beautiful. Uh, so this is Auburn, guys. Auburn is located 115 kilometres north of Adelaide. It is the southern gateway to the rich vineyards of the Clare Valley. It was once an important town where bullock teams and miners stopped on their way from the copper mines around Burra to the coast at Port Wakefield. Today it's largely as a result of the tireless building of the stonemason Joseph Muller. The town is both charming and quaint. It is a number of impressive stone houses and the combination of this charm with the surrounding vineyards that made it an attractive destination. And for some reason, I just love this town. Live here. <laughs> I could. I don't know why, but I could. There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> you got but, a little cafe back there, but that's it. Uh, no, 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 I like that town. Oh, look at that nice old church. I'll marry you one day in my church like that, babe. One day. It's got to be better than that, though, that church. So it won't be yeah. today. The one at Westbury is nice. Here's a babe. I, I don't know which one I'm talking about. Should Never seen it. it. You have to love someone before you marry him. Oh, I love you. I you love you. Yeah, yeah. It's what happens when you've been on the road for a few weeks, guys. The women start doubting you just because you've been picking on them for a while. <laughs> you admit it. <laughs> no. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't mind being picked on, at least it's a bit of attention. Ah, uh, any attention's good attention, I've always said that, babe. Exactly. Yeah. So we come up to Udundra. Udunda. Tell you what, there's a nice riding around these hills, isn't there, babe? Yeah, beautiful road. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. What's that, Udundra Centre? Oh, Ooh, that a little follow up. Yeah. Mm. Uh, town centre to the left. Where the fuck down there? <laughs> we'll go around this way first up, okay? <laughs> so, we're coming up to the solo art. Aboriginal themed. The Storytime Silos features through an incredible 30 metre tall silos and is based on a true story written by local author Colin Thiel. The Sun on the Stubble. The book tells a story about two children sharing stories about their past and their culture that invokes playfulness, open-mindedness and joy that we see in children. So we just went across to have a look at the little bits of solo art here in Udundra. Udundra. Udunda? Oh, I don't know. Udund, babe? <laughs> oh, Udunda, no. babe? We'll go this way. Look at that old pub. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, will you guys? Udunda, known locally as the Valley of Hidden Treasures, is a quiet town with a simple charm and a historic appeal. It is distinguished by an attractive main street with interesting historic buildings and vine-coloured verandas and is also the birthplace of the educationalist and novelist Colin Thiel who achieved fame with his hugely successful children's books Storm Boy and Bluefin. Heading 
near the Kapunda at the moment. Can have a little look through in that town, see what's about, and then move on to the next town. Look at that though, spectacular. Coming down into the Barossa Valley. Ah, so we're rocking her into Kapunda. And look at that, guys. That's surprising. More hills. <laughs> Beautiful. Looks like a, um, all the bikes use these roads. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of bikes. People, we passed a few bikes today, haven't we? Yeah. They um, up around all the hills and Barossa Valley. They reckon it's good riding. It's been nice today, anyway. It's a fair sized town, this one. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Ooh, what's he doing stopping there? Who? This bloke. Oh, who knows? Well, fuck only knows why. He stopped there in the middle of the road. Bikes over here. So this is Kapunda. Kapunda is a rural service centre which, since 1842, has had three definable periods of development. It was created to develop copper mining. After the copper mining period, it became the base for Sir Sydney Kidman's huge cattle and horse operations. And currently, it is an important service centre for the surrounding rural area. You just said that if we don't like the Naratupa place, we can come back. It's not that far away. Well, it? we could do. Did you see any? Um, have you seen any? Um, what's we call it, babe? I've seen a pub, a bottle shop, and food shop. <laughs> <laughs> we need somewhere to rest our heads too, though, sweetie. Oh. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to do another drive-by. Okay, babe. So, do you want to go back up through town, did you? Yeah. Or what? Yeah. Timmy wants to have another look at the town, don't you, babe? Yeah, we only seen one side of it. <laughs> Jeez, that seems to be a strange. We only see one side, but you're only looking on one fucking <laughs> side, now you got to look on the other side, do you? Exactly. Oh, yes. Jesus. I could have missed out on. I've got. I'm looking at both sides as I'm going through. Oh dear. I only look at the stuff I need to look at. Oh, okay, both. Then we do a drive by and look at the rest of the oh, stuff. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome aboard, guys. We've hit. Where have we hit, babe? Uh, I don't know. Come on, <laughs> no, you say it because I'm not saying it. I'm probably be wrong. Neurotopa? Yes. Neurotopa. That's what we're calling it. Anyone else that knows what it is, tell us. <laughs> Nearer. Yes, we're, we're not real sure. Nearer. Nearer. Uh, Nearer. Nearer. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we're up in the Barossa somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, we got bloody traffic lights in this town, babe. Up with Ooh. me. Up with me. Oh, yeah, better do that. Yeah. Um. Get your city head on. <laughs> <laughs> The historic town of Nuriutpa is recognised as a business and commercial heart of the Barossa Valley. It is the tourist and service centre for a famous grape and wine area, which has over 150 wineries and cellar doors. It is a town surrounded by vineyards and is also known as Nuri to the locals. Is this a motel here on the left? In all day dining. Okay guys, so. We've pulled up in, you tell them, babe, where we've pulled uh, up. I can't remember. Newry. Newry. They call it Newry in South Australia. Now, anybody that knows what New, where Newry is, let us know, okay? Yeah, and not Newy in Newcastle. Sydney. No. Newcastle, no. We've called it Newry. Newry, and That's what the locals call it, okay? So, it is a very beautiful place, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Very beautiful area. And it's a lovely day. So, we're going to go and show you the street, so then you'll probably know where we are. Everyone pronounces the name different, mm -hmm. don't they, babe? It's a bit of a tongue twister. You have to get the T and the PA right or something. I'll tell you what is. Nuri Upta. Nuri Upta. Yeah. That's what we got Nui told. Nui that's, Nui that's how you. Oops, sorry, guys. Sorry. That's how you say it, apparently, in a boat. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far we're going to go down here, are we, babe? Not far, because from what I can remember, there's not much open. There's not much open. No, it is a Sunday that we're here, isn't it, babe? Yeah. So, please forgive us, guys. We can't do everything right, you know? Took us half a day to find our accommodation. Yeah, only because we're riding around now, but look, though, wasn't it, babe? Yeah. So this here is the main street. Um, look at it. 
beautiful, isn't it? Here's one of the shopping complexes here at where? Where? <laughs> Newey. 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 Sorry. Newey. I'm, I'm at the oh, wrong Newey. spot, babe, aren't I? Yeah. Barossa Central, and we are in the Barossa Valley. Very, very nice ride into here. But a few nice small towns on the way. Pretty good having this in the middle of town, isn't it, sweetie, eh? Nice <laughs> little walk. Yep. Look at that. Pretty, isn't it? Getting our daily exercise. As we always do when we get off the bikes in the boat. Yep. So this, over the road right here, is our complex for the night. Yes, we're in another oasis, aren't we, eh? But the good thing about it, see that sip and save sign down there? We like that, don't we? Yep. In other words, oh, if Kimmy Russ Adventures are drunk. Which is not likely. Yeah, we don't have to go far to get more, do we, babe? More grog yeah. to make us drunker. OK, so that was a quick trip around town, wasn't it, babe? That was it. But like I said, it was. it is of Sunday, but a very beautiful place, isn't it, babe? Yeah. And we're just going back to our um, abode. We're going to throw things off. We're going to go and sit in the bar for a while, aren't we? Yeah, it's cool, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. It's so hot. Yeah, very nice. We could sit out there underneath a tree. Oh, yeah. That'd be That's nice over there. Garden area. Yeah, no, nah, that looks nice. Yeah. Garden area for you and for me. Oh, no, pool area. Yeah, we've got to put it only with cans. Well, you can take a couple of cans there and check the women out. Okay, thank you. Yep. <laughs> you heard to say that, guys. Permission and forgiveness, yep. babe. Yeah. We'll catch you later on, guys. What are you doing? I'll get my hair off you. Yeah. Okay. So then women can't see they've already been to the blonde. Yeah. Thank God for that. I'll probably get in trouble otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> I'll forget it was mine. So this was our accommodation for the night. The Vine in Barossa. And it was a superb inn. It's got everything there you need beautifully appointed rooms, and of course, a good drinking area, which we went down to for the afternoon. And then, went back to our pool, until dark. And then, <laughs> more food, and more grog. Hello Kimmy, how are you today? <laughs> course we're good, course we're good. We're on holidays today, aren't we? Sorry guys, a bit late tonight, a bit late. You know why? Because my brother from another mother ran. It's his fault. Dyna so, Madness. Dyna Madness Adventures at YouTube.com. He rang me and we're on the fucking phone for goodness knows how long. So we're in a little town tonight. We. Not quite sure where we are. Newry. Anybody knows where Newry is? The locals call it Newry, okay? Obviously we're in South Australia. They won't fucking let us go anywhere else, will they? Well, they will go to Northern Territory in Western Australia. But we are in South Australia. But the locals call it Newry. So anyone that knows where Newry is, let us know. Yeah. And it'll fucking help us out a little bit. Tell us, like, tell us how it is. Like, what, how... The pronunciation is what I'm trying to say, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. There's quite a few people have told us different fucking things. But we left Paul Blakefield this morning, and I tell you, what a beautiful ride. Well, we went up through the Barossa Valley, and I tell you, what a glorious ride. We finally hit some fucking corners and some hills and bends and everything, didn't we? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys, and some beautiful towns around here. But um, in saying that, we've had to put up with a lot on these holidays. We won't go into that, though, will we, Jimmy? Hey? Oh, we've had to put up with heaps. What? I've had to put up with heaps. What have you had to put up with? You? <laughs> he, he told me last night I had bad service. <laughs> he said I had bad service. Her so customer service, she doesn't want to go into that sort of trade. No. Nah, nah, not at all. I should not go into customer service trade. I've been doing that for the last... I'll be sorry, shut up. 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter what I've done. Don't listen to it. Hey, guys, we're in our room tonight, aren't we, babe? Um, like I said, we're a bit late. We've just come... Well, I open our room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it is, isn't it? Well, the fucking key opened the door. 
Look, Darren's in here. Look, Darren, Darren. What are the chances? What are the chances, mate? Fuck. Oh, no. fuck. No. Nah. No. Nah. Sail, so, where are you? Hey, hey. Oh, I'll show you in our little abode for the night. There's our kitchen table. <laughs> Think we fucking cook tea there? Eh? You got another thing coming. Oh, <laughs> oh you're funny, aren't they, eh? Big hey, Dax? They look big enough to fit you. No. <laughs> too far, it's, they're too big for me, babe, them ones. <laughs> All right, there's the lead nest, and we're highlighted with LED lights tonight. <laughs> Aren't we, babe? <laughs> LEDs. There's the fan. Right out there's a mechanic, there's a fucking um, electrical nightmare there. As always, when you turn up, when you get off the bikes, it is always an electrical nightmare, okay? Now, there's our bags. Now, Rusty! Yeah, no, Rusty. What about a couple of drink? I don't know. Well, what the fuck is this? I can tell you. Oh, <laughs> what are you looking for? It's fucking tiny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we already know that. What the fuck is And you, you call that a fucking fridge? I mean, come on. I mean, I oh know. We've got a couple of stubby, stubbies in there. We couldn't fucking fit them ones in there, so we had to fucking drink them straight up. Why your trousers? Why are you going through my bloody stuff? They're yours. You've just admitted they're yours. Oh, they're yours. oh she's a funny girl. They're yours. She's a funny girl. They're fucking yours. Right, here we go. Look the fucking makeup. Yeah, I'll tell you what, before I go out of a day, Rusty, before we go out of a day, an hour, man. I'll tell you, a fucking hour for her to put oh, her yeah. face on. I'm going to have the chafing <laughs> Yeah. That's for, Mrs. That's for Mrs. McCracken. Remember about Mrs. McCracken? <laughs> so we had to buy some like 3B cream because Mrs. McCracken here <laughs> needs it on her ass, doesn't she? <laughs> right, there's the shitter. Now, yeah, oh no, look, this is, it looks like a disabled room, it fucking is, okay? Because look at this, we had to get finally get one with a fucking seat for Kimmy. <laughs> we had to get one for a seat and a shower because it's got to the stage where she won't even stand up and shower herself no more. She's got to sit down on the bastard. But see, oh, fucking that creaked. Yeah, and look, and then you get... <laughs> No, she's out of there, isn't she? Okay, so I'll take you outside. Right, no, wait a minute, guys. I'll just grab the fucking key, because if I'm going outside, <laughs> Kimmy's going to fucking lock me out. Come out here, babe, and I'll show you. No, come out here, come on, come out here. No, I won't lock you out. Right, now, here's how poor in, babe. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, look, it is pretty. This is absolutely beautiful area, isn't it, babe? Yeah, over there. Yeah, over there. That's right, yeah. We've been drinking. And where's our bikes, babe? Look. The babies are here. Well, look, the car park's over there, right? But... We wanted them here. We done a deal. We done a deal, didn't we, with the... What do you call her at the desk? Kelly. Yeah, but what is... Receptionist. Yeah, no, well, whatever she is. We done a deal with her and we said, can we put them undercover? She said, yes, go for it. Put them... Put them like that, undercover over there. Oh, we... Yeah, she did, yes. But we didn't want to take advantage of her good nature. So we just parked them there. You know why? You know why? She's not going to fucking rain nights up, don't worry. It's... We cleaned them the other day. Sort of cleaned them anyway. Not going to rain tonight, so we don't care, do we? Okay? So anyway. Right. Let's go rock him, man. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what's that, babe? Oh, the latch is on. Oh, bye, babe! <laughs> I shouldn't be gone, should I? She's got a crap shit to go home. A bit of fucking luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say goodbye, babe. All right, okay, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye. Well, we're about to leave N Nui. Nui, I think the name is. Nuni Upta. And Rusty's left a bit of a mess. Where are we? He always does. There we go. He's left a little something for the cleaners. You get 10 cents a bottle here, apparently. So 
this is our room and this is Dinah Madness in here. He says, please do not disturb because he's still drunk. So we're leaving him here. It's 9.10, 9.10 in the morning and he's still drunk. All right, I'm going now onto motorbike shop to get my rear wheel on the bike. Rusty's out here somewhere. There he is, making out his doing maintenance work on the bikes. Maintenance work on himself, mate. Oh, on himself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he broke some nails, oh, he broke some nails, putting his bra on. Yeah. All right, catch you down the road. Put your nails on the road. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together 